Well, good morning, everybody, and I'm glad that you have chosen to click on this video. And yes, today I'm going to have you pick a car and let that car tell you where you are on this a path, this path to ascension and the so-called event, because we know that each and every one of us have our own path. There's not going to be one journey that is going to be exactly alike. And, you know, everybody's experiencing this in a different way. Everybody has work to do. Some people have more work to do than others. Some people are letting um, the gurus do the work for them. And, you know, they're just pitching on the event train and um, taking a ride and not doing any of the work. So I thought, you know what, maybe it's time for me to come out of the broom closet and start doing some more card readings and uh, just let you guys see for yourself where you are on this path of ascension. And there's a lot of changes happening. Those of you who are really doing the work and who are really tuned in and connected are seeing all these changes. It's a, it depends on the frequency or what it is you're experiencing and seeing. Like I said, um, are you all caught up into the politics of all this? Um, are you um, caught up into just watching everybody else's videos and hearing what they have to say? Or are you the person that's going within and doing their own journey and getting their own information and really seeing the changes? Um, that's going on, you know, I also, for me, it's been returned to Avalon, um, you know, uh, Avalon was an isle that was formed by the Fae, and, um, you know, it's all about the divine feminine, and the balance, and the earth, and it, this whole process has to do with Gaia, and those of you who don't get this very important part are, are really missing out here, the reason you came here on this planet, on this very time, was to experience her ascension. And it's up to you which wave of her ascension you're going to experience. For some of those, they'll experience the end times. Um, you know, and for some of us, we're just gonna ride her wave to the higher, the higher realms, the higher frequencies. So today I'm gonna do, um, if you don't know me, if you haven't followed me before, you know, I'm an author of three, four books, three books, a short story, and um, finishing up a series. And it all, and my stories are so called fiction, fantasy, paranormal fiction, but really it's not. It is based on everything that we're going on, um, you know, with this ascension process. And of course, it, it deals with the uh, fantasy realm. Um, and um, I am I am half sorry about that I had a brain fart for a minute I'm half bohemian and half thin and those of you who know uh, J.R.R. Tolkien who wrote Lord, wrote Lord of the Rings he actually wrote from his experiences in Finland the Finns believe in the Fae, the little people, the gypsies, the Bohemians were also gypsies. My family came over to America to escape persecution because Czechoslovakia had its own Holocaust at that time. And if you didn't know, 900,000, around 900,000 gypsies were gassed uh, in their own little Holocaust, but nobody knows about that, right? Um, and so my family left to escape that persecution. So anyways, I do have that in my blood in this lifetime that I'm here. So my earthly uh, lifetime, that's my heritage. And so I like to play with cards and the cards I'm gonna to use today are Stephen Farmer's Earth Magic, of course, Earth. I'm all about the Earth. And so I'm going to um, just flip out three cards and then let you guys, here's, oops, not that one. 
there's the first card and I, uh, I'm gonna put this down, put the screen down once I have a card. I'm gonna pick three cards here. Here's one and then let you guys pick them here. Oops, let's do that again. Pick the card that suits. This one kind of jumped out too at me. So, got three cards. I'm gonna pull this down. Okay, here we go. Here's the three cards. I'm gonna pull them over. And um, so, you pick which card of the three that suits you, that is calling to you. Is it clouds, is it the autumn, or is it the shaman card? And um, so I'm gonna start reading, reading these, reading the cards. So the first card is a shaman card. And this, the person who picks this card, you see that card, okay. So we got shaman and then ancient healing wisdom. So the shamans that we know about, the shamans, the shamans are people that they can walk between the worlds and they're all about healing and they're all about balance and they're here and they're working for humanity. So you're here and you're doing your job. So you are you have, you have stepped into your role and you are doing your work and you're here to help Gaia and you're here to help heal and you do have the ability to step between the worlds. You do have the ability to communicate with um, the ancestors, the spirit guides, um, uh, ETs. Anything that is not in the 3D physical world. So you have that connection already. You came in to do this job. You came in for this very purpose, to connect and to heal and to help and raise the vibration. So this card, if you pick this card, this tells me that yes, you're on the right path. You are doing what you came here to do and to keep doing the work. And so, yes, you are stepping into that ascension process. You, you came in as a higher being and you, you are doing the job. And so, yes, the, the ascension is happening for you and you are seeing it. And, but we also have to remember that some of us will choose to ascend and some of us will be stubborn and say, no, I got to stay and wait a little bit. I, 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 I got to help a little bit more. There's those who um, are stubborn and don't want to awaken. And I think I can still help those. And, and that's pretty much what's in um, my books that I'm writing around, uh, writing. I find it very interesting that, you know, these people in my books, some of them chose to go back, even though they ascended, some of them chose to come, go back and help. And it's very interesting. Okay, so that's the shaman card. The next one is the autumn equinox, and that's relief. Okay, so the autumn equinox, you know, that's a time of, um, for those of you who picked that card, the autumn is, for some of us, that's, that's our power time. For me, autumn is my power time, and you can see the colors here, the power colors. You know, these are the golds and the reds and the rusts, and those are your power color, colors. And um, so you are in the time, you are in your power time, you are too doing the work, but it says release. So because you are doing your work, there's still something there that you need to release. There's still something that you're working on and there's still something, a belief system or um, a habit or something that's going on yet that you're doing in your life. And you know what I'm talking about. Everybody already knows when you pick the card and I gave you the meeting, you already know what I'm talking about. And there's, so there's something that you have yet to clean out. There's something that you have left to release and get rid of um, before you can actually experience the true fruits of your labor. You know, autumn time, 
that's when you know we bring in in the harvest you know we've worked hard all year long and 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 growing and planting and you know we started out in spring planting that seed and, and really doing the work and so here we are in the fall and you know equinox time and um we've done our work we've uh so it is the time when we are starting to you know experience the fruits of our labor and so yes you are stepping into that you're right there you're right on the edge of really experiencing what this event is is all about and what your you know the ascension is all about and so but the release there's still something there that's just holding you back it's like you go one more thing one more step yet to take one more thing that you need to release could be an outdated relationship you know like i said it could be a belief system that's holding you back um you know so think about that maybe today doesn't make any sense but um just uh meditate on think about it what what is that one thing yet that's still there that i need to release so i can really really experience the fruits of my labor and all my hard work okay and the third card if you pick the clouds we got the clouds and we got shape shifting okay so this person is jumping around okay so if you watch the clouds and you're outside and you watch the clouds and uh you know it, it might start out this kind of shape and, and then uh it might start out you know uh, like a dragon and then before you know it it's moving along and then it doesn't look like a dragon anymore it looks like a, you know like a car or a dog or something so you know the, the shape of the cloud never stays the same and so these people, these people are shapeshifters. They're jumping from one thing to the next. You know, they, they're, they're into one belief and they, they, they're like dabblers. They dabble with this for a while and they dabble with that for a while. And, and that was me. <laughs> I have to admit that was me for a long time. Um, and, you know, so I had to play with everything. I had to try this out, I had to try that out. And then I was this, and it, you know, I was really good at everything I decided to try and take in. And, uh, but then it, after a while it was like, oh, there's something else, oh, there's something else. So, you know, some of you are, might still be in that um, religious phase, still trying on the religious phase, but you're still looking, you're still willing to change and try on something else. Um, but we have to be careful because a lot of these things can distract us to what our true path is. And, you know, it's kind of like, um, ooh, look at that crystal. I want that crystal now. You know, I'll play this one for a while, you know. So it's kind of like you're doing that with your journey. You're distracted about all these different things that are going on on YouTube. You know, it's like, oh, I got to listen to this person. Oh, I got to listen. Oh, yeah, I believe that person. Oh, and I, oh, look, did you hear that person? Yeah, I believe what that person is saying. So, you know, I'm going to study that person for a while, but none of that is any of your own stuff. None of that is what's within you. So it's another one of those uh, going within cards. And we hear it all the time. You know, it's time for you to go within and find the path yourself. You need to do the journey yourself it's time to take and walk that journey yourself instead of listening to everybody else and what everybody else is doing they're all doing their own journey and you're listening to them it's cool it's listening it's fun to listen to everybody else and see what everybody else has to say and where everybody else is for some of us yes it's confirmation and that's a good thing if we're doing our inner work and we're on our own path we can go out and see and go oh, okay that person is getting what i'm getting so yes that's kind of cool. So we have to stop following everybody else and trying to find the answers with everybody else. It's time for us to do our own inner work and stop shape shifting into this, into that, into the next one. It's time for us to find our own path. Okay, so those are the three cards this week. So uh, that's where each and every one of you are at at this point in time.
So, you know, one of you, you're already there. You've done your work. You're already there. You are like an ascended master. And then this one is, yes, you've been doing your work, but there's still something that you need to get rid of. There's still something that you need to release. So you can complete, you know, your journey. And this one is, you still need to do the work. You still need to go within. And hey, if you got this card, it's okay. It's all right. Remember, the journey is the best part. The journey is the destination. And that's why we're all here. We're here to experience our own journey and come up with our own experiences. I mean, if I one day woke up and I was there and then I got to look back and they said, oh, you could experience that and you could have done that and you could, I would have been really pissed. You know, it's like, oh, dang, you know? So don't feel bad. You know, you just got a hell of a lot of fun to experience yet. So anyways, you know, that's the cards for this week. And, um, you know, uh, I'll try next week to do another three cards and see what happens. I don't know if we can really pick anything different than these three cards. I mean, really, I mean, it's like the three steps. Let's see, it could go this way. The three, three, the three phases of ascension. I mean, these cards are great. I love these cards. So anyways, that's all I got for you today, guys. And, um, Hopefully my next video won't take so long, but I really was having a hard time. I tried doing videos before. The computer wasn't working. My microphone wasn't working. And it was like all these updates with, uh, with uh, Windows 10. And it was like, they really were, things were really making it tough. And it just kind of like, forget it. I'm not supposed to do these for a while. And uh, so there's just a new, new phase that is going through and, um, so I'm going to, like I said, step out of my broom closet. And once again, we're going through metamorphosis, it's like the butterfly. So spring is coming and today is February 18th. So February 18th, 2020. We'll talk to you soon.